Hello guys and welcome back to another video and this video will be my how to part 4 and in this video I will tell you how to package your albums well if you are selling them, trading them whatsoever. Because I saw that many of you guys liked my how to videos and I will keep doing more of this video. So in this video I will show you how to package your albums well. And I'm not selling any photo cards at the moment, that's why I can't show you how to package your photo cards well. But this will definitely come in the next one or two months, so sorry for that. And yeah, so I saw when I watch videos where people buy stuff from people used and then they get the package. And the album has no protection at all and I'm like, why? Why? So that's why I wanted to show you how to package the album well so that it don't get any damages and stuff like this. So yes, and before I start, my tip number one for all of you is to save up the bubble wrap you receive when you, when you buy K-pop albums from the big stores, eBay, whatsoever. Because it's environmentally friendly to keep those things and use them later for your own albums and second it's it don't cost you anything so I can show you one this is one of my depots for bubble wrap so I keep all the bubble wrap I see here I have a little bit more in my Korean mall box behind me but the box is too big so I usually keep this all in here I have my top loaders here that I receive because I like to save them and use them later because you never know if you need them when you move or when you sell albums so this this is very cost and envi environmentally friendly oh, this word so this album I was selling today is newest canvas and when you watch my video and you're a subscriber of me you know why what Lisa don't own this album yeah you're right I'm selling albums for my friend and I thought this was the perfect opportunity for me to show you how to package the albums well because I sold some in the past but I I never thought about making a video about this but as I was brainstorming ideas with my friends I this idea came up and I thought this would be really helpful so this album will be packaged today and I already have my bubble wrap lying here so if I send this within Germany I only do like one kind of bubble wrap so I like to package this as a, as you would package a present so I put it in the middle then you put it up and then you have this so I always like to have space at the end so you can flip it over and the ed edges are protected and I like it that way so you have one layer of bubble wrap or two layers so when I send internationally I like to do two wraps of bubble wrap because they will send it with uh, airplanes or in the train or don't know and I don't know how uh, how oh the word how good they will be to the packages but in Germany it's like I don't have to worry about that so when you wrap this up I like to take yeah. oh that's the German word for that and to put it there and oh I forgot one thing yeah Louisa you are prepared as always um it's always nice when you wrap it up to write a little note. So when you're trading, you can write something like, Oh, thank you for trading. I hope you have fun with this album. Don't know, because it's more friendly and the people will like it more. So I decided <laughs> to use this one, my memo pad from um, the I Got 7th 3rd official fan club. So... I recently started doing that before I was too lazy to write something or I use other paper but normally I will write like I will write it in German so because it's it 
to sell selling in German. Who should I use? Should I use? Oh, Feelen. Dang. Das. Nee, das ist. So, <laughs> I can't think of anything. So, thank you for buying. Vielen Dank fürs Kaufen. Or maybe. No. I will write. Have fun with this album. Viel Spaß mit dem Album. And I like to sign it because it makes it more personal. And I always like to, to stick it on there. It don't has to be a big note or big little little letter or oh, little. Because I think something quick, short is always nice to read. And yeah, so I keep all the letters I get when I have tradings or when I sell something and I keep it in my box up there because some letters are really really cute. And yeah, so what I like to do is when you did this, so I'm holding the album otherwise it will fall out of this because it's like a sleeve it can slip around. I like to tape the ends so that the protection doesn't um, go off because I will do it off camera. Sometimes I have it like I'm buying albums but when I get them the, per the person who sold me the album that was the case with my now one from BTS the person had nice protection but because it came from Italy yeah it came from Italy or Spain because of the long train trip or flight I don't know all the protection was off and that's not nice I think so please tape it well use don't use like bits and bobs of bubble wrap, use one piece that goes around. Sometimes if you don't have anything else, use like tiny pieces, but be make sure that nothing can fall out or stuff like that. So I taped it here at the end in here so it can't move anywhere and the person will get this good. So. I don't like to send it per um, package or is this the right word? Per mailbox? I don't know. Because like this, because this one is pretty expensive to send it with and I use the most cheapest version and it doesn't have to be bad if it's cheap so I s send it in like this kind of letter box. I have two kinds of, you can buy them at the dollar store in your country, I guess. And then you put it in. And then what I do, I send it for the German people. Ich sende es mit Warensendung. So I send it per um, Warensendung. It's a German word for that. So it only cost me like 190, so not 2 euros. And the the way takes like two to three days, so it's also really fast. And you can send a lot of stuff with that. And I find this really convenient. But the thing is, when you send it with Warensendung, the one end always has to be open. That's why I'm clicking it over. And I use one of these yeah I'm talking and talking and when you don't look at your camera you don't you see it's off and you talk like for four minutes <laughs> you didn't record so I like to stick it in and then you take one of these and make a hole in here and then you stick it through and ah nothing is working today and ta-da it's open and closed at the same time and when you you have to write on it Ta-da! and you can write the address on but I will do this off camera because privacy reasons 
So this is the way I package my um, albums. It doesn't take long. It's the cheapest option. But it is protected and I also um, send my albums when I trade or sell them overseas, so internationally. I will also send them in these ones. I will do like one more layer of bubble wraps for protection and nothing ever happens. So it's always protected, they will come there and I only have to pay like 4 euros. So it isn't that expensive because I noticed when I was trading my photo cards, a lot of people don't know how to send them. So a lot of people send them in like bubble um, sleeves and then you have the shipping cost like five dollars and stuff like that. You don't have to do that. So if you can send them as a letter, I will always, I was, I was, blah, blah. I will say that again in my how to um, package your photo card when you're selling, selling, trading, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do like the most expensive stuff. You have to make sure that it's protected and safe. But I send my photo cards as a um, letter and they come really, really quick. And they're always protected and I do it because when I'm trading, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And I told the specific girl, you don't have to send it like this because she was telling me she had to pay like nine dollars. And I was like, no girl. Send it as a letter and then everything is fine. <laughs> and yeah. But this... Oh, I'm talking random shit again. It's so me. But you know guys, I'm kind of insane today because today was a really bad day. But yeah. This is my how to package your albums. Well, I hope maybe it helped you. And I hope that more albums will be more well protected because I saw a lot of shit and was like, why? So some people only dumped the album in those kinds of envelopes and sent them. And I was like, girl, save up your bubble wrap from your buyer, from when you buy albums and use one layer, even one layer makes a difference. And yeah, so. Oh, I. I hope you liked this video, so I have a lot, a lot of ideas for my how-to videos. Um, I want to do a one, one thing about trading, a one um, how to package your photo cards, and yeah. And I will also do a um, second part about how to structure your binder, because I got a lot of new stuff, but this will come this month, maybe next month. So this is a little bit sneak peeks and I have a lot of awesome video comings, coming and I hope you like this and yay! I see you in my next video. Bye!